Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Do you have you have light and it's not uh, raining there in your house? No, in my house, no, teacher. Oh my gosh. Well, here, a lot of people is reporting issues. So let's hope that here also they don't, we don't have any issue during the class. I'm oh, just going okay. to wait the rest to come here. That's why I have my camera on, off. Okay, I'm going to turn it on in just a little bit because okay. the internet is kind of low. Uh, it's low I, I, uh, today. So I don't know why, but it's, uh, I don't know if it's my computer or everything, but everything is low for me. So I'm not sure. But whatever. Uh, how was your day? Tell me. I received your homework, by the way, but I was not able to check it yet. So I'm going to send you the feedback today, okay? Okay. I received okay. it. Thank you for, for sending it, by the way. Okay. Yes. And you already started with the other uh with the other one with the song? No, este um no se ha conectado como se llama. Who? Eh, ¿cómo se llama? Oh. But the song was individual. Alfredo. No, about the discussion with the partner about the song. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I, I was talking about the other the other one, the one that is for Wednesday. Well, for tomorrow, the one that you have to rewrite the song. Ah, no, 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 no. It's, uh, I, I, eh, lo voy a hacer mañana. <laughs> I'm going, you're going to do it tomorrow. Ah, okay, pretty okay. good. Cindy, nice to see you back. Finally. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what happened to you yesterday? It's supposed that you live five minutes from your home. I think um pensé que llegaría temprano, pero no. You thought that you were going to arrive early, but no. <laughs> no, I can't. You were okay, it's fine. Yeah. Uh always guys, when you have any issue regarding any problem. For example, no internet, no light, or anything. You, if you have issues with the traffic or something else, please always tell tell me, of course. But if you can report to the assessora of the group, I will appreciate it because they have their assistance. I don't have it in my own. So um, I'm thankful because all of you let me know, right? Like, teacher, I cannot stay in classes, but I'm here. Or other ones tell me, teacher, I cannot speak. Or when you tell me, right, that you cannot um that you don't have uh, cameras or something like that, right? So let me know always and let, let also the other persons know. All right, guys, perfect. Los demás, ¿cómo estamos? Cuéntenme, Jorge, you are back. Aha, Jorge, what happened to you yesterday? Un poco más de salud, teacher. What do you have? Gripe? Un poco, sí. Y, oh, yeah. Este, un poco de calentura ayer, pero ya un solo gripe. Okay, let's hope that you, that you get better soon. Okay, you should take a lot of vitamin C and ibuprofen. Also, you should take one that is called Ambroxol. It's pretty good. If you have a lot of cough, bastante tos, take Ambroxol. It's pretty good. And also another one that I can tell you if you have mocos, I don't know how to say mocos in English, I forgot. But if you are swollen a lot with your nose, problemas para respirar o tener bastantes mocos o congestionado, uh, take muco, mucobroxol. It's pretty good too. Y son super baratos, valen menos de 5 pesos en la San Nicolás. So those are good. Te los recomiendo. Te vas a levantar rapidito. All right, guys, perfect. So, um, guys, yeah, so I already wait almost five minutes. So guys, welcome back. All right, nice to see the two girls and El Gatito every day. Hope to see the other cameras, okay? Um, guys, right now we are in our second day. Today is Tuesday, right? So we are going to go ahead and move on with the platform and also with the uh with the book, right? So I hope you get the book ready. So guys, today I have to teach you the grammar part. So I'm going to move on and do it. All right. 
So here we have the WH questions and yes, no questions with do and does, which uh, we started yesterday, right? However, uh, we can do a little review about it. I'm going to give some exercises to you and we will practice a lot with this. All right, guys, so I'm going to start. Can you see the presentation? Yes? Okay, thank you. So, guys, first of all, let's start with the difference between the yes, no questions and the WH questions. I know that you already know the difference. However, I'm going to remind, okay? The yes, no questions, as their own name, they are uh, those are questions that had only two different types of answers affirmative or negative. So in these ones, you only use, for example, do you like this? Yes or no. I like it or I don't like it. You don't give more explanation. In the case of the WH questions, in these ones, guys, you have more options or you give more explanations. Also, these ones are very specific on one topic. For example, what kind of music do you like? ¿Qué tipo de música te gusta? Ah, me gusta esta. No te están preguntando nada extravagante. They are asking you something very specific. And you give, you have different types of answer, right? For example, I like rock, I like bachata, I like reggaeton, I like a lot of things. So, básicamente, las yes no questions las vamos a identificar siempre porque comienzan con do y does. Because we are talking in present, all right? So, we have the auxiliary. Uh, in present, do and does. What is the difference between do and does? Who can tell me that? Mm -hmm. There's, there's, there's... Uh, what was your question again? What is the difference between do and does? El do... Um... Usually, uh, uh, to or for, um, I, uh, you, e, they, e, we, and we, uh, does, uh, use, uh, se usa, no se, use, use for, perdón, use for, use for, for a, a third, third person. For third person, good. Yeah, basically do you guys, we use it for first and second person and the does, we use it for third person, right? So when they are asking you, do you, of course, we know the subject that we are having, right? So when you have does is for third person. So that is the only difference. Uh, and the answers you can use do well you will you will see here when I explain to you those ones but do and does affirmatives don't doesn't negatives here and no other explanation right so let's go ahead and do any get the w a no sorry the yes no questions yes no questions guys those ones are for present as I was telling you you use do and does that is the first characteristic you will uh, start, always is, are going to start with do or does. So, ¿cómo las creamos? Ese tipo de preguntas. Yo creo que aquí hay un otro video. Voy a second. Quiero ver si hay otra plantilla. I don't remember. Oh, it's not working. What's going on with my internet today? Okay, well, I'm going to explain it like this. So, chicos, ¿cómo formamos este tipo de eh, oraciones o en este caso preguntas? Empezamos con do or does, que va a ser nuestro auxiliary. Later, we get the subject, I, you, he, she, it, they, uh, we. Later, we have the verb, and later, the complement. And, of course, the interrogation mark, right? So, do sería el auxiliary, you, subject, like, the verb, and wrap and the exclamation mark would be the um, complement. Otra característica, los verbos always, always infinitives. Here we're not going to be doing any other changes. Here, uh, en, este, en este tema, chicos, 
no me voy a meter ing ni me voy a meter otro tipo de verbo. Acá nos vamos a ir únicamente con el verb in infinitive form. Ok, how can we answer? Yes, I do. Sí, sí me gusta o sí lo hago. El do se va a utilizar como una, afirma una affirmation. And don't is going to be like a negative form. And later you can add a compliment, of course, right? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. It's up to you. Ok. Luego tenemos otro ejemplo, chicos, acá. Does he play the, play the piano? Si ven, es la misma estructura. Y el mismo tipo de respuesta. Solo que acá en esa segunda no le han agregado nada más. O so, sea, acá ustedes si me quieren decir, yes, I do, no, I don't, it's fine. A menos que les pida más explicaciones, there you go. ¿Dudas con el yes, no questions? No? No, teacher. Awesome, pretty good. So, let's go ahead and move on with the WH questions with do. Do también lo podemos utilizar para WH questions. ¿Cómo las vamos a formar o qué caracterizan ese tipo de oraciones? Number one, open questions, right? We give our answer and we don't have any specific structure. No utilizamos una estructura en específico. However, ¿cómo las formamos? The formula. The WH word, ya sabemos que eso debería ser what, when, who, uh, why. Ustedes ya saben todas las que hay. Later, le podemos agregar eh, un complemento o le podemos agregar do o does, dependiendo del tipo de pregunta. Por ejemplo, acá en la primera, what kind of music, qué tipo de música te gusta. Ya sabemos que el does eh, hace la, la función de auxiliar, right? Entonces, el do lo podemos ver dentro de la oración en medio, como lo podemos ver seguidito de la double H question. What does he play? ¿Qué es lo que él toca? He plays the guitar. Who do they like? They like you too. Ok. So, el do y el does va a depender siempre del contexto y cómo suene mejor. Lo que yo siempre les digo en clases. Um, si les estamos preguntando, por ejemplo, what kind of music do you like the most? Ahí el do no se lo he puesto a la par, ¿verdad? Porque el contexto mismo de la oración a ustedes les indica que no va ahí. Entonces, ustedes la van a acomodar en base al contexto. All right. Pero tenemos unas en las que obviamente, of course, you can do it. For example, what does he eat? All right. Siempre va a ir en infinitive. Solo la respuesta, le hacemos el cambio al verbo. Ustedes ya lo saben. But for example, what does he eat? He eat. He eats vegetables. Uh, who do you love? I love this. All right. So that is explanation of the WH questions. Any question regarding those ones? No? All right. So, luego acá les está poniendo los pronouns que son uh, unos objetos, chicos. Bueno, no son los pronombres de objeto. En realidad, estos les sirven por si quieren hacerlo más específico. Por ejemplo, eh, him, her, it, us, them. No sé si se acuerdan o ya habían visto estos. Creo que sí, ¿verdad? Donde los usan y todo. Yes, you remember? No, eh, yo no, teacher. All right, so vamos a hacer un review de eso, permítanme. Solo vamos a buscar literalmente la palabra para que no la vaya a regar con la explication. Okay, en this one, guys, eh, esto lo vamos a utilizar como eh, un pronombre o un artículo o una cosa. Lo vamos a buscar como una cosa dentro de la oración. Okay, entonces, ¿por qué se llama pronombre? Porque funcionan como pronombre o como sujeto. Entonces se le llama pronombre objeto porque ustedes lo pueden ver dentro de la oración y va a ser siempre énfasis al sujeto. La diferencia es que por lo general los objetos van a sustituir algo. ¿Se acuerdan que hace poco les expliqué el uso de which? Sí, que les dije que sustituía. So, this kind of objects also can substitute. For example, uh, which is, uh, no. Let me see, un ejemplo. Um, who is her favorite? Her favorite singer. ¿Quién es su cantante favorito? El her estaría utilizando como su. Entonces, si ven acá, estamos haciendo una sustitución porque estamos omitiendo a alguien. Entonces, se convierte en un pronombre, así como en español. No sé si medios se acuerdan ya o los confundo más. ¿Soso? 
Yeah, ¿se acuerdan? I'm explaining this in Spanish because it's kind of uh, difficult trying to say it in English because in English, the pronouns are other thing and Spanish are other ones. So that's the reason why I'm speaking in Spanish. However, for example, digamos de que eh, tenemos them. Uh, do you like them? ¿Te gustan ellos? ¿Te agradan ellos? For example, I was hearing, uh, I don't know, una banda famosa. Rápido, banda famosa. Que conozcan. Banda famosa, chicos. Los Beatles. Okay, los Beatles and Backstreet Boys. So, I was, I was listening to Backstreet Boys. Alfred, do you like them? Ahí utilizo el objeto como pronombre. Alfred, ¿te gustan? Haciendo énfasis o diciendo sobre quiénes. ¿De quiénes estaba preguntando, Alfred? Cerca de la banda. Exacto. Thank you. So, in this one, for example, uh, yesterday I was listening to the Beatles, but I don't like them at all. Do you like them? Aquí igual, volví a hacer énfasis en los Beatles. Estaba hablando de los Beatles, pero lo que hice fue no decir otra vez los Beatles, porque ya lo había utilizado una vez. Entonces, esto le sirve para hacer énfasis en alguien que ya mencionaron y no van a volver a repetir el nombre. Sustitution. Okay, that is the topic. Do you have any question regarding that one? Jorge, no sé si ya te quedó más claro. ¿Por qué se salió de la clase? He was asking. He's out of the class, I guess. Yeah. Chicos, ¿dónde están las demás cámaras? Ya me preocupé, me faltan cámaras. Mm -hmm. Otto, don't worry. I already know your, your situation. Don't worry. Ok, chicos, bien. ¿Tenemos preguntas con este tema? No. Sure, preguntas, no, con nada, estamos seguros. Yes, nice. Hablen de chicos. Una pregunta okay. rapidita. Este, Tell me. Um, so, do we need to use them for plural or can we use uh, the word them for uh, singular? Them. Like the same, the same example you were giving mm -hmm. us because you were talking about a Beatles, uh, but the Beatles is, I think that you're referring uh, uh, to one um, artist. Mm -hmm. Yes, I already got there, yeah. yeah. So the Beatles, they are a band because band, el, el nombre banda es un singular, right? Es una banda, pero la banda está conformada de cuatro personas. So la banda la conforman cuatro, cuatro son, verdad? Yes. So the band has four people. So they are a band. Son una banda. A pesar de que la palabrita está en singular, tú cuando hablas de una banda, they are the band tell. No decimos, muchas veces this is the band. Depende, depende. Por lo general el them, I recommend you to use it in plural. It will sound better. Because uh, when you use, for example, band, como por ejemplo, una banda que sí esté conformada y que sea como la banda a pesar de que tenga diferentes personas, dependiendo, por ejemplo, One Direction, for example, ellos, ellos sí decían, this is the band, porque ellos se decían que eran un unánime. So, ahí en ese caso, what is your favorite band? Entonces, ahí ya lo puedes decir en singular, depende. Pero el them, I will always recommend you to use it as a plural, okay? And you or your as a singular. I always try to recommend that. Yes. It depends. Ok. ¿Otra pregunta? ¿Estamos bien? ¿Todos? Se están durmiendo. Ya le picará que se están durmiendo. Vamos a correr aquí. Already see your faces. Ok. Guys, please, right now I'm going to give you three minutes and I want you to create one yes no question and one WH question regarding music, relacionado a la música. Ok, no quiero las preguntas que estaban en las páginas esas. No quiero que me pregunten, what kind of music do you like? Porque eh, los voy a vetar. All right. So, eh, la idea es que ustedes se, que se inventan las preguntas. Ok, relacionado a música. And later, I'm going to make you in partners, but you're going to ask them in general. You're going to pick someone. Ok, for example, Jose Mario might pick Cindy. And he is going to say, ok, Cindy, I have a question for you. And he asked the question to Cindy, and we will see how Cindy responds, right? 
So we will do that activity. I'm going to give you three minutes. So guys, please, one and one, please. Tal vez, chicos, les voy a pedir a los que no puedan hablar que porfa me lo pongan en el chat. Por favor, de los que no tienen la cámara, que me pongan quién se puede participar. Por favor. De verdad lo apreciaría bastante. O se pueden poner en WhatsApp. Como, mira, teacher, yo no puedo participar. Sorry. So I can know. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Ready? ¿Estamos listos? ¿O le falta todavía? Uh -huh. Contéstenme, chicos, por favor. Please, I siento que estoy sola. Literally, and I don't like that. Um, yo no he terminado todavía, teacher. Estoy trabajando. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Selena, for answering los demás. Yes, I'm Porque ready. Porque la cámara me hacen así o sí para verlo, los que tienen cámara. Ok, Otto, thank you for letting me know. Teacher, I have a quick question for you, real quick. Who? Me. I have a yeah. question. Uh, how do you how do you pronounce this word? List. 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 Thank you. You're welcome.
Hola, ¿qué pasó? Eh, me quedé sin señal. Ok, Jorge, you have to make one yes no question and one WH question using uh, music topics. Temas de música. Ok. Perfecto. Los demás chicos, ¿ya estamos listos? No, no vuelvan a hacer esto. Don't do this again to me. Are you ready or not? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, thank you. All right, so. ¿Cómo van a hacerlo, chicos? Ustedes van a elegir a quien le quieren preguntar. Eh, Patty puede participar, pero no puede poner la cámara. So, Patty puede. Vicky, no sé si puedes participar o no. Ale igual, Judith, Sandra, no sé cómo están ustedes, chicas. Otto eh, todavía no puede participar, pero ya se va a integrar a la clase. And the rest, ¿ok? So, ok, Alex, it's fine. Thank you for letting me know. Bien, voy a asumir que Judith y Sandra no pueden participar, igual que Vicky. Ok, so igual chicas, les recomiendo que siempre traten de ingresar y de participar, por favor, más que cumplir las asistencias, es que participen en la clase. Ok, thank you. All right, Bien, guys, so. A José Mario. Ok, Selena is going to start. Ok, with José Mario, let's go. I like that attitude. Let's go. Only one question. Vamos a ir una y una después. Ok, después van a hacer segundo uh, round. Uh, bye. Ok, let's go. Eh, what? What was your favorite music in your adolescence? My favorite music was rock. Okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. Okay, now it's time to Jose Mario to ask someone. One question. Uh, See what is your favorite? Uh, how do you say género? I don't know. Gender, gender, gender. What is your favorite gender to Jorge Morales? Jorge, okay. Okay, uh, my gender favorite, uh, your is favorite rock. gender. Oh, perdón. Uh, my favorite junior yeah, is rock. Um, uh, uh, pop. Uh, uh, music. Uh, classic. Uh, eso. Okay, good. Do you And have you... Este, uh oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Do you already have the question? ¿Ya hiciste las preguntas? No, todavía no. Okay, work on that. Who wants to continue, guys? ¿Quién quiere seguir? Cindy, let's go, Cindy. Thank you. Um, Alfredo. Okay. What, uh, what music do you like to dance? I like to dance bachata music. Good. Another bachatero, right? Like Patty. Good. All right, let's go, Alfred. Um, let me pick someone. No sé quién. Quiero ver a Otto Niel. Otto, okay. Let's go. Okay. Um, uh, what is your least favorite gender of music? <laughs> mm, well, my favorite list is romantic gender. Romantic. But he likes he likes Luis Miguel, y los que menos le gustan son románticas. Escúchenlo, ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, so you already have the questions? Yes. So or, question about, about what? Um, no. You have to make a yes, no question using do and does and a WH question. And the question has to be about music. Okay, I'm going okay. to give you time to think it, okay? Okay. Let's go with Carlos. Carlos? Uh, I don't know for Selena. 
uh, what's your eh, perdón what's your favorite food your favorite food it has to be about music carlos ah uh, okay 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 sorry mm -hmm. sorry sorry um i don't know what are your favorite bands mm -hmm. what's your favorite game bands banda ah my favorite banda in my época como se dice ah uh, de qué edad más o menos ah uh, ajá época quiero decir época en época inglés. we can say decades in my decades porque si es una época digamos como decir cuando tenía como 20 años you can say in my 20s or in my 30s in my 15s también mm. Eh, ya ni me acuerdo, <ríe> quiero ver, este, Magneto. <ríe> no, 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 pero ¿quién es Magneto, guys? No lo conocí. Todo lo veo con la carita de no sí, pero bueno, no lo sé, pero no sé. Me va a pasar lo mismo de ayer. <ríe> All right, good, let's go with Patty. Okay, let me see. Cindy. Cindy, uh, do you like to dance to banda music? No, I don't. Okay. I love dance salsa. Good, a salsera, nice. <laughs> okay, Patty, just. Do you like to dance? Uh, que dijiste banda, verdad? Yes. Do you like to dance banda music without the two? Okay? Okay. Because it's a gender. Good. Cindy, another question. The other question, please. Okay. Um, Carlos. How many hours do you listen to music on the day? On the day? Um, I don't know, maybe one hour per day. Yes, yes. I am busy, man. <laughs> I'm busy, girl, too, but I listen like the half of the day music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Carlos, the other question, please. Uh, I don't know, for for Cindy? All, uh, Cindy, no? Eh, mm. Ah, change the person, porque Cindy ha participado las dos veces, so change the person. Ok. Eh, por Alfredo. Ok. Um, do you eh, already dance a song what do you like you don't like? Yes, I uh, I dance uh, a song yes, I, I do. didn't like. Yes, I do. Comma, I da, 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 da. Yes, I do. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I do. Sería dance, verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do dance a song I didn't like. I don't like. It was actually yeah. la, la Macarela. La Macarela, la Macarela? ¿Qué es no eso? No sé cómo se llama. Pero es la Macarela. Macarena. Macarena. Ah, yeah. baila tu cuerpo alegría. Macarena, no oh. Macarela. I know that. I mean, I'm a teenager, but I know that. Yeah. Good. Jose Mario. Alfred, do the other question for Jose Mario, please. Okay. Do you have a song that you often uh, sing? Yes, I do. The name of the song is sorry. What is the name? I searched the name. Sir. Okay. Okay, guys. Good. I have a question for you. Do you uh do you have any song 
that is in your head for days, like, okay, this is my song for the week. And you only try to listen to that song during the week or during the day. Has ever happened to you before? Or no, solo yo soy la loca. No, no soy la loca. So what is the song for your week? Los que tienen eso. ¿Cuál es la canción que tienen ahorita pegada? La Macarena. It depends of the week. This one? Eh, Which la one música, de, música de Ava. Ava music. I love Ava. I love it. I'm so in love with Ava. <laughs> The song for me for this week from Ava is money, money, money because I'm manifesting. Estoy manifestando dinero, dinero, dinero. Yes, to me, so that, is, that is my song, guys. Porque si manifiestan, eso les va a pasar. <laughs> yes. Out of which one do you tell me? ¿Cuál me dice que era tu canción de la semana? De esta semana es una de Luis Miss. Luis Miss song. Which one? I know all of them. Uh, it's called Quiero. Good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about Jose Mario? Uh, the name is Deep Cover. Snoop Dogg, Deep Dr. Dre. No. <laughs> no. No. You're asking a lot for me. Está pidiéndome demasiado. Cindy, what about you? Um, and this week, the perfect puns, Backstreet Boys. I don't know why. <laughs> Backstreet Boys, which one? The perfect puns. I know, otra vez, en blanco. I just know everybody and I want it that way, right? Which is pretty good. I want it that way. Yeah, pretty good one, I love it. So what about Selena, tu canción de la semana? Eres sorprendente, me gusta a mí. From who? ¿De quién es? De Marco Quit. Ay, en blanco también. No, Alfred. <laughs> Alfred? Uh, es uh, Dorian, los amigos que perdí. No <laughs> de mi época, ¿qué le pasa? Carlos. Carlos. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, in my case, it's a song named "Stay Together for the Kids" from Blink. Uh, Blink 182. Mm -hmm. I thought that you were going to say Linkin Park. Imagine. No. <laughs> yo eso cuando dijiste Link, yo dije Linkin Park. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I like know. it. Linkin Park. Linkin Park. Yeah, I only know like "Wake Me Up Inside" and "Oh Man." Patty, what about you? Patty? Perfect. Which one? What is the canción de la semana? Perfect. From Perfect. who? Ed, Ed Sheeran? Yes. <laughs> I finally. <laughs> nice. Well, first of all, when you say perfect, for me it's perfect from One Direction. Porque One Direction tiene una que se llama perfect. Luego me, me acuerdo de que no toda la gente es loca como yo y que escuchan cosas normales, así que pues. It's Sharon, of course. It's pretty good one. I love that one. I love, I love singing that one. What about Jorge? Jorge? Hi, teacher. Yeah, your song for the week. Oh, well... ¿Cuál era la pregunta, perdón? ¿Cuál es la canción de tu canción de la semana? Uh, eh, um... <risas> este, hay varias, pero eh... sería um... uh, Metallica, Nothing Else Matter. Nothing, sí. nothing else matters. Is the one that is and nothing else matters. Na 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 na. Yeah. Yeah, Metallica. Nothing else matters. Yeah. 
Uh, that is a good one. Okay, good guys. Thank you. You know, mine, well, I have three this week. It's one that is from Coldplay, but I don't know how to pronounce the name. Hand for the rhythm. I think that is the name. Let me check my Spotify. Okay, is him for the weekend. So it's just pretty good. Buena. The other one is Un Amor Invencible because I was watching the, the, the novela, which is pretty good. Les recomiendo esa novela, buenísima. So estaba escuchando la canción de esa. Y otra que es de Pitbull que se llama International Love. No sé si la han escuchado. Esa creo que es más conocida. Búsquenla, es súper buena. Se la recomiendo. Y también podría ser Colin, la que acaba de salir de la película de Spider-Man. All right, guys. So I want to know if you have any question regarding the topic that we have seen. No? No hay preguntitas. Nadie tiene preguntitas. Sí, teacher. No, teacher. no teacher. All right. Perfect. So, guys. We will work on the book. So open your book, please. And we will go during a conversation, which is an invitation. So can you open the book on the page 25, please? Can you see it now? Let me know when you can see it. And I want to volunteer to read it. Mm -hmm. Solo dos, no se peleen. Teacher. Yes, tell me, Alex. Me escucha. Yes? Ah, pues yo puedo leer. Okay, Alex, pretty really good. So, Ale and Patty right now. Oh, okay. So, okay. Ale is going to be Dave and Susan is going to be Patty. So, let's go, girls, please. Okay. I have ticket to the soccer match on the Friday night. Walt, do you like... <coughs> Perdón. <coughs> Would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have a dinner at six p.m.? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30 p.m. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. <coughs> See you there. All right, girls, thank you so much. Guys, do you have any question regarding the vocabulary that is here? No? No questions? Todas las palabras se comprenden toditas, seguros? All right. So guys, what is the conversation about? A soccer soccer match. A soccer match? What else? What are they doing? Mm -hmm. They are going to the stadium to see the to watch the uh, the soccer uh, match. Good. They are doing an invitation to go over there, right? So guys, you are going to do an invitation too. En este momento, les voy a asignar una festividad o una actividad, all right? Y ustedes van a hacerme una invitation de manera creativa. Que sea impossible to say no. O sea, imposiblemente, imposible decirles que no, ¿ok? Okay, so I'm going to tell you and you're going to get like five minutes or six minutes to do it. Okay, entonces le voy a dar a, un, a cada uno y la tienen que hacer super creative and you have to use the vocabulary. And here you have an idea. It doesn't have to be a conversation. It can be only the invitation. Literalmente puede ser como, okay, te invito, bla, 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 bla. Okay, como si fuera una de las piñatas, como ustedes quieran. ¿Se entiende la actividad? Yes? Yes, yes sir. All right, so les voy a decir aquí. Okay, so les voy a dejar la pantalla, chicos, para que ustedes puedan tomar ideas, ¿sí? El horario, el lugar, ustedes lo eligen. Pero la clave o la única regla es que sea la festividad que les ponga, ustedes no me pueden dejar, o sea, no me pueden decir que no. O sea, yo no les puedo decir que no de tan buena que va a ser su invitation. All right? So, I'm going, who wants to be the first one? ¿Quién quiere que le dé primero? Que le dé el primero su, su festividad. Me. Okay, Ale. A me. 
Okay, Ale and later Jorge. So Ale, for you, is going to be a baby shower. <laughs> okay. A baby shower. <laughs> for Jorge, it's going to be a funeral. Okay. <laughs> okay, ¿quién, quién sigue? ¿Quién quiere seguir? Me. Me. Okay, Otto. For you, it's going to be to a surgery. Para acompañar a alguien que se va a hacer una cirugía. All right. ¿Quién me dijo después mi Patty, right? Cindy. Okay, Cindy. So, Cindy, for you, it's going to be going to the church. Ir a la iglesia on Sunday. Okay? Who else, guys? ¿Quién sigue? Me. Me. Hey, Carlos. For Carlos, it's going to be go to a golf match. <laughs> to golf, okay? Later, Jose Mario. I'm thinking, let me see. Okay, espérense, se me, me quedé bugueada ahorita. Ya tengo el funeral. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so I, I don't know how to say this. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, for Carlos, uh -huh. it's going to be ir a un novenario. Okay. For me? Yes, for you, Carlos. Okay, okay. Good. Okay, for Selena, it's going to be going, I don't know how to say this in English. Permítanme, lo voy a buscar. Permítanme. Porque no sé cómo se dice esto. Okay. For you, Selena, it's going to be going to an independence parade. A un desfile de la independencia. Okay? For Patty, permítanme. Permítanme, chicos. Voy a, voy a buscar aquí. Uh, okay. For Patty, it's going to be... A divorce party. Una fiesta de divorcio. Okay. okay. ¿Quién me falta? Me. Okay, Alfred. For you, it's going to be a quit party. You know which is that one? From, from your job, right? Una yes. fiesta de renuncia de tu trabajo. Okay, pretty good. ¿Quién me falta? ¿De las chicas? ¿Me falta alguien? Uh, me. José Mario. Okay. For you, Jose Mario, it's going to be, let me see. ¿Cuál podría ser? Um, estoy pensando si esta es la otra, porque no sé. Okay, for you, Jose Mario, it's going to be going to a party in the worst, worst, worst place that you might imagine because it's too dangerous. So, es ir a una fiesta contigo en el lugar más peligroso que existe, donde si te bajas, ni siquiera el pan francés entra. All right? Okay. ¿Quién más me falta? No one? No one? Sure? ¿Todos tienen? ¿Sí? Ok, les voy a preguntar solo para que me recuerden que tienen. Cindy, ¿cuál tenías tú? Iglesia, eh, do, eh, misa. misa. Ok, una misa. Good. Jorge, ¿cuál tenías tú? Funeral. Funeral, ok. ¿Selina? Desfile de independencia. Good. ¿Otto? Surgery. Surgery. ¿Alfred? Uh, quick party. ¿Patty? Fiesta de divorcio. Ok, Carlos. A uh, novenario. Ok, uh, José Mario. Uh, the worst party. In the worst party. In the worst place. In the dangerous sorry. place. Like, okay, in the dangerous uh, place. Yeah, ok, good. Ok, guys. So, everybody, Ale, which one do you have? Baby shower. Baby shower. Ok, good. And Judith. Okay, I don't know if she can participate. Okay, um, guys. Anyway, return. <laughs> ¿Cuál tenés tú? 
No, no tengo ninguna. No tengo ninguno. Okay, por eso no. estaba preguntando. All right. So for you, it's going to be going to uh. Permítanme. ¿Cómo se llama este artista? ¿Cómo se llama este artista? Oh my ¿La God. La canción. Benito. No, 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 no es Benito. No sería una, un premio para ustedes ir a un concierto de Benito, of course. Um, oh my God, dime el nombre de este artista. Permítanme, lo voy a buscar, lo voy a buscar. Yo la canción, la canción. No, es que es el artista, permítanme. 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 Permítanme, chicos, lo voy a buscar. Los demás empiezan a trabajar, empiezan a trabajar porque me lo tienen que dejar ya hecho. Ok, el tuyo va a ser going to a Peter Languilas concert. Ay, teacher. You have to, you have to. ¿Cuál es la única condición? No les puedo decir que no. Así que háganse la creativa la invitation, ¿ok? Peter Languila. Of course. ¿Quién lo quiere cambiar con ella? Lo pueden cambiar con ella si alguien no lo quiere. Si alguien no quiere el suyo. ¿Quién lo cambia con adiós, ella? Adiós, adiós, adiós. Ay, qué It's easy. I would love to go to one. Yo lo quisiera ir a ver bailar. Okay, entonces, tengo que hacer una conversación. No, tenés que hacerme una invitation ah, creativa okay. para que, uh -huh. pero la condición es que tiene que ser tan buena que yo no te puedo decir que no. Ok. Good. Ok, quiero Muy ver bueno. qué tan creativos son, guys. Quiero ver qué tan creativos son. Ok. Good. ¿Dudas, chicos, con la actividad? ¿Los demás? ¿O estamos bien? Nice. Easy, right? Actividad fácil. Yes, of course it is. Ay, no, chicos, tapenme la cara cuando manden capturas, por favor. Yo me veo fea en esas capturas. Pónganme un sticker de lo que quieran, se lo juro. O recórtenme, please. All right, thank you. ¿Quién es este? ¿Quién la mandó? ¿Quién es el gatito este? Hmm. Yo, pero ya la ya le eliminé, voy a enviarla nuevamente. Thank you, es que mi cara se ve bien fea. Thank you. <ríe> All right, guys, sigan trabajando, trabajen, pues, trabajen, trabajen. Tomorrow we will do this. Esto lo tuvieron que haber hecho en su juventud o, o solo yo lo hice, pero van a descifrar mensajes for tomorrow. And guys, just a reminder, recuerden que para mañana es la canción la que iban a reescribir. Esa tarea la dejó ayer. Yes. Oh, este... Revisa la grabación de ayer, ¿ok? Ok. Mírala, mírala, mírala. Yo espero que cuando no vienen a mis clases, ustedes se desesperen por ver la clase que no vieron y la vean grabada. Ahí está. Ok, ayer yo no, yo no me pude conectar. Yes, you have to see the class, all right? Because you have to. Tienes que revisar todo lo que vimos ayer. So, over okay. there, you will have the, the explanation of the homework. All right, guys, who's ready? ¿Quién ya está listo? ¿Quién ya terminó? No one? Why, guys? It's so easy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm sharing the screen, I'm sharing the screen, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Tengo que cortar ese video ahora, creo, porque les compartí pantalla. Sorry. All right. Oh, my gosh. I have to cut that.
All right. All right, guys. ¿Estamos trabajando? Sí. Ok. Espero estarlo viendo y pensar bastante. All right, all right, all right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Esto va a El que pueda editarme un video, chicos, se lo pago. Por favor, hoy en la noche. Necesito cortar algo. Thank you. Anyone who's ready, guys? No? No one is ready? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Jorge. Guys, anyone who's ready? Why? Who's ready? Alfred, ready? No? Almost. Almost. Otto? <laughs> I think yeah, I'm done. You're done? I'm okay. Ready. Okay, let's Thank hear you. Otto, guys, please. Okay, Otto, it's time. Okay, um, so well, we like to go to my surgery. If you join me after the surgery, one of my doctors will give you a hundred dollars just by being there. You cannot miss it. Okay, good. I like it. That's it. Yeah. yeah that, that, oh. Good. Claps for him. Nice. I like it a lot. Who else is ready, guys? Que más está listo? Jose Mario, Carlos, Judith, Patty, Selena, Cindy, Alfred, Ale. No one. Okay. okay yeah, <clears throat> I invite 
You too, my baby shower. You cannot miss. There will be a lot of my food and games uh, in <coughs> addiction. Um, will be gave, will be give a cash prize. <coughs> Mm -hmm. It is not necessary that you bring a gift. No sé cómo se dice. Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, gifts. Um, join me this Saturday, Julie, July, um, 14 at 3 p.m. <laughs> All right, that's it? That's it. Good, <laughs> class for her, good. One more, uno más, ¿quién está listo? Uno más. Yo, teacher. Okay, Selena, let's go. Ah, me permite compartir pantalla. All right, ya ven, miren, ella está, está preparada, ven, ya ven. Extra A ver points. Si convencemos. Así me convence, veamos. Sí, porque a mí me, ya vieron que me gusta el dinero, right? <risa> pero aparte del dinero o se ofrezcan de más cosas o sea, la experiencia de la cirugía o algo así ajá, let's go Selena ahí voy vaya eh, ok y quiero ver, se me echó aquí uy perdón que, que no sé qué me pasó bueno aquí okay. independence para no sé cómo se dice para, para parade parade invitation Day September 15, 2023, time um, 7 a.m. Free gourmet breakfast, lunch date with North, North Americans and Europeans, dancing dinner, localization, and el Tunco location. Beach. Location, location, el Tunco Beach. All right, good. Thanks, Alina. I like it. ¿Sabes por qué me convenciste? Porque me hablaste de los europeos. And I love them. It's so good. <laughs> All right, right thank you. Sí, correcto, tienen que llegar. Good. Un europeo right, millonario. Ay, Dios me llante, manifiesto. <laughs> no, no importa que sea salvadoreño. Mientras me diga que yo no ejerce y que me va a hacer señora de las lomas, no hay problema que sea salvadoreño. Me, me sacrifico. No issues. Sí, no hay issues. Que me diga, no te preocupes, yo sé que estás sacando la carrera, pero no ejerzas, no te preocupes, te escogí a vos, no, 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 te voy a mantener, I would love to. <laughs> All right, guys, perfect, so thank you, Selena, like it. Bien, chicos, perfecto, so this was the activity, los que no me la presentaron, mañana la van a presentar en lo más a empezar la clase. Entonces, no me van a salir con que van a aparecer media hora después de la hora de clase, right? Y les recuerdo para mañana, bueno, hay gente que no me ha mandado el chismógrafo y quiero hacer la actividad del chismógrafo, so please send it. Number two, la tarea de las oraciones y todo, no todos las mandaron. Number three, la tarea de la canción es para mañana. Rewrite the song. Los que no estuvieron en clase ayer, vean el video de la clase de ayer Teacher. para acordarse. Teacher, con lo de la plataforma, yo no he podido avanzar en la prueba donde hay que complementar, eh, pero no con opciones, sino que cuando uno lo escribe, okay. lo he puesto de diferentes maneras. Ok, mandame un mensaje y vamos a hablar con la asesora. Oíste, puede ser tu plataforma o puede ser, eh, no sé, vamos a ver, oíste. Bueno, gracias. Ok, thank you. All right, guys, do you have any question regarding anything that we've seen today? No? Good? No. All right, guys, perfect. So, hope you had a very nice evening. Take care, rest, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Be ready, okay? So, bye-bye. Take care. Bye. See you guys.